So with track and field basically on a pause, we're still getting some drama. The young American sprinter Christian Coleman now facing a two-year ban. Alright, so as most track and field loving fans would be aware, Christian Coleman is a young African-American sprinter that most persons are saying is going to be the next big thing, is going to be the next sprinting king. I mean, Usain Bolt would have left the scene a couple of years now and it can be said that there is still a void to be filled and people are saying that Coleman is the person that is going to fill that void. Now, it was just last year that this superstar sprinter narrowly missed out on being suspended after it, he was accused of missing uh, three tests. Now, as it relates to the IOC and where track and field is concerned, if an athlete uh, missed three consecutive tests, then that is, a, that is grounds for them to be suspended or for further investigation or for them to be banned. Now, Coleman narrowly escaped um, last year after he won the case on a technicality saying that it wasn't necessarily within a 12 months period because as the rules say um, it is within a if you miss three tests within a 12 months period then that is grounds for further action he however managed to win the case saying that uh, it was outside of the 12 months so you know he was allowed to compete in Doha last year where he went on and managed to win a gold medal in the 100 meter no it is not a very good look to see that we are just in the middle of 2020 and we are now hearing that he also missed a test in December of last year. This is an issue because um, that would mean that the, the missed test of January last year and the missed test of April last year would now come back into play seeing that he would have missed a test in December of last year. No, that would be three test that you would have missed within a 12 months period so this is no grounds for the ioc to say here what we are going to suspend you until further notice so coleman um after getting this news went onto his twitter and he had some very interesting things to say now according to coleman this is an attempt by the officials to get him banned He's saying that he's been targeted and this is organized in such a way to get him banned. But what I can understand is why would an athlete think that? Because the rule is clear. If you miss three tests, then that is grounds for you to be banned or for you to be suspended. Now, according to Coleman, he basically was never hiding. He made himself, himself available to be tested. But, you know, all right, so... We are, I'm just going to take a look at what Coleman tweeted out. According to Coleman, and I quote, I think the attempt was to get me to miss the test. So he's saying that um, in December, he, where he was out um, shopping for Christmas gift when persons, came, when persons reportedly came to his house. So that is what Coleman is saying. He's saying that in December, when, they, when the officials claim that they came to to his house to do some testing he was out shopping for christmas gift so um he's basically saying this is a deliberate uh case for they are trying to put together to get him banned but i mean it is not the case like say boy american athletes are usually targeted by by officials if we would have seen in the past where athletes from america would have been targeted to be tested on a regular basis then we could say here yeah, what boy am i target him but that is not the case and I mean, if you don't have anything to hide, why is it that you are missing so many tests on a regular basis? I know that emergency can come up. I know that you can miss tests, but so many. Last year, you narrowly escaped on a technicality after missing three tests. And now we are finding out that, boy, you missed one in December. So you are suspended until further notice. I understand that you are going to try and come out and see a face, but... Why, 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 why is it that you have to be missing so many tests on a regular basis? I, I can't understand that for the life of me. And I mean, if it is a case that he's proven to be guilty, then uh, he, that, that would mean that he's going to miss next year um, Olympic in Tokyo. You know, 
And for him to be touted as the, as the next big thing and in the middle of his rise to miss an Olympic there in his prime then, that wouldn't be something nice. <coughs> and I mean, it is not like anybody is rejoicing because we all want to see somebody come and dominate, this, dominate sprinting. Because to be honest, we haven't been entertained any at all since Usain Bolt um, would have retired. We haven't been entertained much as it relates to sprinting. So it is not like say boy is American, so we want him to get banned. That is not the case. But I want to understand why is it that you can not make yourself available to be tested. Hmm? That is that is my that is the issue that I am having. You know so. You know and I mean there is an exception to every rule, but the rule says that boy once you miss three tests, then some amount of sanction um, need to be laid against you. But I mean, there's an exception to every rule because we don't know what had happened. But according to him, he was out shopping for Christmas gift. And I mean, moving forward, these athletes need to understand that once you're a professional, once you're being governed by an organization or by a federation, you must always be on the ball because there is always going to be rules and regulations that you need to follow. And it would be similar to an athlete getting tested and then test positive for a banned substance. And then that athlete is going to say, hear what? Boy, I don't know that reaching my body, you know. Probably it's a medication that I took or probably some food that I ate that had in the banned substance. That not going to cut it because hear what? You have to be the person that is um, responsible for whatever you put in your body. Whatever you put in your body, you are responsible for that. You understand? So these athletes need to be careful. It is not only about going out and participating, but off the field, you have to make sure that your head is screwed on. Because you can be training all along. And then when the time comes for you to, to, to um, participate in an Olympic or a world championship, Carly says an Olympic year, and then you, you test positive. And then you're going to say, boy, you don't know how it comes. You have to be, make sure that you are careful. If you are a professional athlete, you know that you are going to be tested. So you make yourself available. Make sure that you are always on your ball. Because you don't want it to be the case that, boy, you are the person that mash up your own career. You don't want that. And, I mean, I know that investigation will, will continue. And we are not advocating for anybody to be banned. Not because he's of different um, country. You know, I, we know of the whole rivalry as it relates to America and Jamaica and sprinting. But, you know, we are just saying that, boy, it is a bit fishy. I mean, you narrowly escaped last year and then the following year. You are, you are now suspended. Boy, it really looks fishy. You know, it really looks fishy. And as, and as I said, he's a young athlete. We want the best for him. It would be nice to have him in Tokyo next year because, you know, he's expected to win the goal. So it would be nice to see him running. But at the same time, if you break the rules, then you have to pay the penalty. That is just how it is. And this is a story that we are going to be following over over the coming week i mean you know i uh, remember to hop over to sports to the bone uh smash the like button leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed remember to subscribe we have load of loads of content over there uh this is a breaking story something that we're going to be following up to see what's happening because at the end of the day we don't want to use and lose an next young young sprinter because of the the, the wall you know because uh, i mean missing out it, Say, for example, he should be banned for two years. That is two years gone out of his career, in a man. Two years out of his prime. You understand? He's now 24, I think. So if he's banned, then he would be looking to come back when he's 26. So we are just following the story. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, as I said, to every rule, there's an exception. So we don't know what the case is. We don't know what the result is going to be like. But this is something that is very interesting. He narrowly missed out last year and being banned. And now he's in hot water again. You know, so this is something that we want to, we want to follow up and see what's happening. And not only track and field, we have a lot of content over um, and sports to the bone. We have cricket is coming back. Football is, the English Premier League is coming back today. So you can look out for a video. Uh... You know, yeah, we have a lot of content, so just remember to go over, subscribe, smash a like on the videos, leave us a comment, always good to uh, communicate with you guys. So we are going to be following the story to see what's happening. Sports of the Bone, keeping you informed.